We now have the official permit filings for the Tron Light Cycle Coaster and the new theatre that's going to be coming to Main Street USA at the Magic Kingdom, but let's dive into it all up next. Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack, this is DSMI Newscast, and go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel. Also, Universal Newscast is going to be coming back very soon, and at long last, the store is finally live. So, if you're interested in buying one of these Waltoner t-shirts, you can go and do it, I'll leave a link down below in the description box. And now, with all of that out of the way, let's get right on into it. So, yesterday, Walt Disney World filed permits for two big additions coming to the Magic Kingdom before 2021. One one being the massive Broadway class theatre coming to Main Street USA, and the other one being the Tron Light Cycle Coaster that was announced at D23 Expo. So now let's dive right into this permit filing, which was filed with the South Florida Water Management District, and it covers both projects MK1 and MK2, with MK2 being the Tron Coaster. Now here we can see the permit filing in greater detail, overlaid onto the existing Tomorrowland in a satellite view, and we can quite clearly guess an idea for the immense size of this show building that will house the majority of the Tron light cycle coaster. As this permit finally confirms that this attraction will be a near replica to that of a version that we can currently see in Shanghai Disneyland. As we can see that the footprint of the show building fits within this permit filing that we can see here overlaid on top of one another. Additionally though, now that we've got this permit filing, we should now clear up quite a few different things that other sites have reported in the past before it was officially announced at D23 Expo. As this permit very clearly shows to us all that the Tomorrowland Speedway track will remain unaltered, which we couldn't confirm up until now as concept art often gives an impression of the surroundings, but in this example it was very accurate. And that the Tomorrowland Speedway isn't just going to be remaining where it is, but it's also going to be getting a massive re theming as well. With a front runner at the moment being something to do with, you guessed it, something to do with Tron or something very similar to that type of design. And the Walt Disney World Railroad that can be seen going under the Tron canopy will indeed be partially obscured so that it doesn't ruin the effect of the neon lights within the coaster or the turn of a century locomotive that will be travelling under it. As the two attractions are a very stark contrast to one another. And needless to say, when the coaster is being built, expect a very long downtime for the Walt Disney World Railroad and also the Tomorrowland Speedway. Now with this new permit it has confirmed the exact location of the Tron Coaster and we can now say that the Tron Coaster canopy will be partially visible from the Storybook Circus area of Fantasyland and also the show building aspect of the attraction will also be partially visible from the top of a contemporary resort. Anyways, now let's move on to the second part of this permit filing, and that's the new theatre that's going to be built at the back of Main Street USA on the right-hand side, as we now can see the exact footprint of this building, and it's actually set further back than we originally thought. As before, we only had this piece of concept art to guess at the exact entrance area space, whereas now we know that this space will be considerably larger as a side street or a walkway area. And it's even been rumoured that this might not be a second street Street to the side of Main Street, but instead this Willis Wood styled theatre will be accessible through Centre Street, which is located halfway up Main Street USA. Now let's move on to a story coming out of Disneyland, as the extremely popular Southern California Annual Pass, which gives you entry to Disneyland and Disney California Venture for the price of $469, will no longer be available. But this isn't the first time that this has happened, as in 2014 this exact pass was also temporarily unavailable for a period of time. But this is an interesting move for Disneyland. As with the Galaxy's Edge opening date getting even closer, Disneyland really needs to find a way to manage the crowds. And yes, the quickest way to fix this is just to stop issuing the most popular annual pass option. But this is actually part of a much bigger problem. As you see, Disneyland is estimated to have around 1 million annual pass holders. And so, the only way to fix this capacity issue is actually to expand. Like we're seeing Disney do with Galaxy's Edge, 
bridge on a former underutilized piece of Disneyland real estate and also the soon to be superhero universe that's coming to DCA which will use some extra relatively unused space within DCA at the back of Mission Breakout as well. And lastly for today there's going to be a bit of Star Wars news so if you don't want to be spoiled go ahead and jump to the timestamp wherever I put it within this video. As Entertainment Weekly have released these brand new exclusive covers featuring different pairs of characters from The Last Jedi but they have said that because they appear on the same cover doesn't necessarily mean that they are on the same side. And we've also received a few more TV spots that focus on Finn waking up and asking questions about Rey and also Rey discovering the force within herself. Meanwhile we've also found out that this Star Wars movie will be the longest ever, clocking in at a whopping two and a half hours of Star Wars goodness. But now, it's over to you, Walton Is I would like to know, since the Tomorrowland Speedway is rumoured to be getting a major re-theming at the same time as the Tron Coaster coming to Tomorrowland, what would you want the Tomorrowland Speedway to be re-themed to? Either Tron, Sugar Rush, or something completely new and different which hasn't been thought of before entirely. And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp of where the Hidden Mickey appears somewhere within this video along with your suggestion or your comment to be in with a chance to win a DSMI Newscast pin. So if you're writing a comment and you want to win a pin, make sure you put the timestamp along with your suggestion. And also congratulations to Betsy for winning with this suggestion from a previous video talking all about the upcoming Merchant's Row that's going to be coming to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below, hit that notification icon. These videos always come out on a Sunday, Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help us out. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.